And now it's six new developments for you coming to light in a high profile Tahoe murder case. Thanks for joining us here at six. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Marley Ginter, the former Major League Baseball player accused in the execution style murder and attempted murder of his in-laws in their Lake Tahoe home. CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts obtained new court documents that shed light on some possible motives now and evidence, Julie. Yeah, guys, you know, the arrest warrants are sealed, so a lot of that has been unclear, but we have now gotten a hold of these records related to the daughter's fight over the family trust, and they provide new details that will likely soon come out in court. A Tahoe murder mystery still unsolved seven months later. Publicly, it appeared to be a cold case. 70-year-old Robert Spore was killed execution style in his Tahoe home. His wife, Wendy Wood, was shot in the head alongside him and survived, but had no memory of the 2021 attack. She later passed away, too. He came here to kill my mom and my dad. The couple's youngest daughter, Adrian Spore, pleaded for help finding her parents' killer. But we now know within months, detectives believed they knew the identity of this hooded masked suspect. It's been a really difficult transition from baseball to being a bar owner. Danny Serafini, a former Major League ball player, is married to the couple's oldest daughter. He discussed money problems on the reality show Bar Rescue with his wife Erin eight years ago. Erin has not been charged in connection to the murder and later sued her little sister Adrian, alleging she manipulated their mother to cut her out of the estate before her death. Now younger sister Adrian alleges in court documents, just three months after the murder, Placer County detectives told their mom Wendy they had evidence that Aaron's husband, Dan, was the shooter. Wendy later amended her will to disinherit Aaron and Dan from the trust. And nine months later, this death certificate indicates their mother, Wendy, died by suicide, hanging herself in a Sacramento-assisted living community. In addition, Ms. Uh, Scott. The court records also shed light for the first time on the possible evidence against Samantha Scott, Serafini's alleged accomplice. Adrian indicates cell phone data and Samantha's phone led detectives to serve search warrants. Scott's been described as a former nanny and family friend, and she recently pled not guilty alongside Serafini. Now, the court recently granted younger sister Adrian's request to be the special administrator of the trust. That gives her the ability to sue her sister and Danny Serafini for unpaid loans that they took from their parents. Adrian also filed a wrongful death suit against the couple. Danny and Samantha are awaiting trial next year.